true crime stories have long captivated audiences, like the closed murder case of Baltimore teenager Heyman Lee, which became part of a whodunit podcasting phenomenon called Serial. The cause of death was manual strangulation, meaning someone did it with their hands. A couple weeks after that, so six weeks after she first went missing, Hay's ex-boyfriend, a guy named Adnan Sayed, was arrested for her murder. He's been in prison ever since. Sayed's story was brought to the attention of Serial's producers by family friend Rabia Chowdhury. Lee and Sayed were both students at Woodlawn High School when she went missing in 1999. In 2000, Syed was convicted of kidnapping and murdering Lee. He was sentenced to life, plus 30 years in prison. He has always maintained his innocence. The 2014 podcast brought his story to global attention. Now, the Maryland Court of Special Appeals has ruled he should be granted a new trial because his original lawyer didn't call a potential alibi witness. That witness was Asia McLean. We were pursuing the alibi issue, but we, we were unable to locate our alibi witness. And Serial um, kind of shook the trees, and that enabled us to get in contact with Asia McLean and bring her to Baltimore for the post-conviction hearing, um, I think it was two years ago. And so in that way, Serial was, was huge. Syed's legal team is confident he will be found not guilty in a retrial. He'll remain in jail while the Maryland Attorney General's office decides whether to appeal. Just tell me the facts, ma'am, because we didn't have them 15 years ago, and we still don't have them now.